All right, guys, today's play a game of Earth 2150. Uh, this is a RTS game that was released in 2000, the sequel to Earth 2140. Um, that one was released in 97, uh, and I've not played this game because the original game was not very well known. I only discovered it recently through GOG, and of course, play that one a little bit. Uh, it was it was pretty okay. I mean, it reminded me. Actually, it's pretty unique. <laughs> it's a very very unique game. Um, and so I'm interested to see what Earth Twenty One Fifty is like. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's do skirmish. This one actually has a skirmish mode. The original game had kind of a very weird three D type of interface that I couldn't really, you know, I didn't know how to select the multiplayer in that game. So this one I can actually see the. It's more of a traditional menu. This one. So. Yeah, that's good that there's a more traditional menu because the uh, yeah 2150 the, the 2140 menu was very very confusing. So, all right, yeah, this is more of a traditional menu, which is very nice. Okay, let's put uh starting money. Let me put that as max cash rate. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's make this game a little bit faster. Units limit. No victory allowed. Uh. Average, hard, easy. Let's put it easy. And let's put it for. Uh, we don't get to see a preview of these maps, unfortunately. Ice Trap, Summer Bay. Okay, let's put that easy. Easy. Okay, I've got three, three races USC, ED, and LC. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much for me what I pick. Let's get one each for the enemies. So yeah. All right. Um, let's do Summer Bay. Game type Uncle Sam. What is Uncle Sam? I guess that's the default game type, but I'm not sure exactly what Uncle Sam is. Destroy trucks, just kill them all. <laughs> sure, Uncle Sam then. Okay. The graphics definitely better from 2140. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, Yep, okay. okay. So, Phobos Detector is all I have. Is that all I start out with? Main base, let's build the main base first. Can I build it here? Interesting. Um, hmm. I, oh, okay. Uh, am I allowed to place it here? Or what, what is this? Why is it not building? I don't get it. Oh, look at that. It's coming down from the sky. Wow, okay. First time I've seen something like this. Well, the original 2040 also had a very unique way of making the base, which is like all the buildings basically just uh, self. You have to like fold it out somewhere. Uh, like it will self deploy. But um, you gotta like choose a place for it to deploy. So that was very unique because usually you have games like Crush, Kill, and Destroy and Command and Conquer. You do have to deploy the command center, but every other base is not deployed, right? It just appears, but you just build it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, for 2140, it's like every building you had to actually deploy it, which is pretty interesting. In this game, 2150, looks like it just comes down from the sky. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta wait for that to come down. So the battery, just wait for that. <clears throat> So I really like this, these um, these two games, 2150, it looks, it's very interesting how they create the buildings. I guess we just have to wait for it to come down from the sky. Okay. What else we got? Research center. See, look, it just comes down slowly like that, it's very cool. <laughs> I've never seen this way of creating a base before, of creating buildings. That's really, really cool. It just comes down from the sky. Just like that. It's a research center headquarters. Is that different from a main base? I guess so, right? Aerial supply center, sure. Put that down. No units. Phobos detector is the only one. Okay, we gotta wait for these guys to come down. Alright, so I have a better idea of what to do now. Um, okay. Put the main base here. 
so a power plant, so the battery. Yep, so I got the the status confused before. It's like there's a button here, right? Remember each building has a, a button to power on? Like that's actually not the button to power it on. That's the status of the building. So you actually press the button to power on to power it off. So it's like reversed. I know it's really, really confusing. So yeah, <laughs> that really messed me up. Okay. All right, so let's start over again. Right now I can only build moon and one Rs. So yeah, this button is actually to power it off, despite the fact that it says power on right now. So this is actually powering off, and then this is to power it on. So right now, this is actually showing the current status of the building. It's not the button to power it on. <laughs> it's really, really confusing. Oh man, okay. So all this is just the current status of the building. It is not to switch it to that status. That's what I got confused about. <sighs> okay. Research center right here. Let's do some research now. So let's upgrade chain gun, rocket launcher, electric cannons, upgrade all that. Mm, let's leave that for now. So I can upgrade lunar, lunar, moon, medium tank, heavy tank, and then uh, crusher eventually, I guess. That's my upgrade path. Here I can switch out the equipment. So this can be simple battle unit, advanced battle unit. I don't know what the difference is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is. Okay, control defense, we control research. Oh. So I, don't, I still don't get what the power what the headquarters really are for. Matters is a research center. Oh, this takes a long time. Seriously, each of these takes four minutes? Takes forever. Once this rocket launcher gets researched, I can uh, outfit it onto my uh, Units, because then my Moon M1 can actually change equipment to rocket launcher. Which is kind of a cool feature of this uh, of this game is that you can customize it so much. Apparently, you can even change the script. They have different scripts. So this is use rocket launcher. Um, I can even change the mercury. Oh no, that can only be a supply transporter. But the lunar, maybe I can change the lunar? To use a um, chain gun, I guess. Okay, save. Now I can make lunars. You know, this is just pretty simple resources here. Money and energy. Again, this is uh, taking a lot of influence from Total Annihilation and Dune. Because in those kind of games, there's one major resource and then have a secondary resource. Yeah, like energy. It's just to power stuff on. Again, Command and Conquer also takes the same kind of influence. So, yep. Really influenced by CNC and, and uh, Total Annihilation and, uh, and Dune. 
which is a pretty typical of games back then. I mean, eventually, I think maybe post 2002, more and more games started taking the StarCraft route. But as, uh, when you talk about late 90s and uh, early 2000s, a lot of RTS games were very influenced by Command and Conquer and, and Dune, I think. And the, you also having the right click, left click to move, right? Left click to move is also a Command and Conquer Dune kind of thing. <coughs> so, yeah. Man. Nope. So I like how there's like a day night cycle. Oh, there's a Mercury. It's a day night cycle, so you guys should see it at nighttime here. It's pretty cool. What is a Phobos detector? It's a radar. It's observer, basically. Oh, shit. We have tanks. Taiga, CK Taiga 20 nanometer. Yep, okay, I killed him. ones already have rocket launchers on okay. Well I'll just wait, gotta wait until the research finishes. I like how these units are so cheerful. <laughs> it's like some cheerful female voice in all these vehicles. Fun. Uh. Ooh, look at that heavy rocket launcher. Hmm, that could be good. So, yep, yeah. look at that after. So, we need another four minutes of research for that. Oh my god. But I am going to outfit them with all uh, upgraded stuff, I think. Yep, yeah, upgrade one. This is upgrading the chassis. that rocket launcher. Oh yeah. Get Tiger large. Get some Tiger tanks. Oh shit. Laser beams. It's 
kind of weird. It shows how much you created in the lifetime of your construction. It doesn't actually show how many units on the map because I lost a lot of my moon and ones and lunar and ones. Just this total number here is like how much you made total, like in the your playthrough. Just kind of weird. Come on. Can we have electric cannons? Pause this one actually. Yeah, I want a heavy rocket launcher. What is this? Gargoyle? Hmm. Sounds like a little kid. See? <laughs> it sounds like a little kid actually. <laughs> Pretty funny. The voices. Spotted them. Spotted him. Okay. It's like the little kid voices. a little like news flash that came there okay interesting interesting sonic yeah. what are these things tiger peas okay yeah I think I saw these in the original game tiger G's tiger peas in 2140 I mean Switch these guys to using um, electro cannons. Yes, update and save. There. I think I use electro cannons now. Shit, I don't think I can make them fast enough. <laughs> oh my god. I can't make them fast enough. No! The building's just too slow. Look how slow it is. It's too slow. What the heck, look, there's a the helicopter here. Cossack, I just lost my headquarters. Darn it. Come on, why is this stopped? Solar cells, is that why? No, no, it stopped. It won't make it anymore. That's so weird. It won't build it anymore. No. Oh, these guys have, uh... Oh, these are enemies, but they have the electro... 
they have the electro upgrade, I guess. Yeah, it won't make these anymore. It won't construct them anymore. Yeah, so, uh, yep. <laughs> Definitely not doing well. I think I'm dead. I don't understand though, why doesn't it make these anymore? It like stopped. I don't know why it stopped. It's because I don't have enough energy, but... I don't get it. I had my solar cells still at that time, so... And I just built another solar cell, so... Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, here we go, finally I made it. So maybe it's just I didn't have enough energy, but... I don't know, I already had my solar, my solar power plant at that time, so I don't get it. I'm gonna die anyways. It's too slow. Too slow making these. Dead. Yep, gone. Huh. Lost my main base. No. Although I can always make another one. Here comes my main base, it's back baby. It's back. My research center still hasn't died yet, that's good. Keep my upgrades. Keep making them. <laughs> Keep up with them though, they got too many guys. Oh no, they stopped it, see? Now I don't have enough energy anymore. I don't have any um, defensive weapons, do I? I don't have any like turrets or anything I can build. Like, usually in a RTS game, you have some kind of defense weapon. Like here, laser wall, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Laser wall would probably be good. But I'm not sure if I can build them, actually. Oh, here we go. Laser wall. How does this even work? Laser wall. Still building shit. Laser wall. How do you build one? It's so weird. I don't know how to build one. I mean, these. I guess these are the defense mechanisms, but I don't know how to even build it. It's so weird. Is that how I build it? Yeah, my building unit came out.
Here, I built a laser wall. <laughs> but literally all it does is that it's just a laser wall. It doesn't shoot anything. It's um <laughs> it's literally just a laser wall, okay. So it doesn't really help me here. It does not really help me here at all. And my guy died. Okay, great. No, not my research center. Ooh, look at that. Moon medium tank. No. No. Not my main base. Again. Alright, I'm just gonna give up at this point. I lost. But, um. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a pretty interesting game, I guess. I mean, the ability, like, the, the, the way the bases come on the field, like, from the sky, is pretty cool, I guess. I've never seen that in any other RTS. Uh, the graphics are alright for 2000. Um, they looked kind of generic though. I mean, this is like a like generic tank. This is kind of like a generic sci-fi kind of vehicle. And the way you do upgrades and and uh, research and create vehicles and stuff is a little bit different. Like you have to you customize it and stuff, and it takes a really long time. So yeah, that I don't like actually. It's a little bit too, um, yeah, it's a little bit too confusing there, but okay. There we go. Uh, and, oh, go to, okay, uh, so that was it. Okay, I didn't try the other factions, but, um, yeah, guys, uh, that is Earth 2150. And uh, this is a very, yeah, interesting RTS game. I'm not sure if it's one of my favorites. It's just kind of like an interesting one, and uh, they do things a little bit, bit differently from the other other RTS games I played. So if you want to try something different, pick it up. It's on GOG. Um, I also think it's a little bit difficult because this was on the easy difficulty setting as well. But man, it just all the research and customization you can do is cool, but it just takes a long time to do it. So that's what I don't like about that. Um, but anyways guys, that's it, Earth2150, thanks for watching.